Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for May 2020. So I've just got your deck right here. I was just picking one card off the floor because it just fell on there and it is right in there. So we are ready to get started and if you would like to also you know, win a free reading with me, then definitely do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also in the description box below. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention before we start with this Scorpio Soulmate May 2020 reading is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So I'm actually wearing the loved ones. These are handmade by me. They're sent out by me free international shipping, um, they're meditated with, they're staged and yeah they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. Pretty affordable and also you know it's the reviews bit so if you really want to see how they work definitely do check out my Etsy shop link. Link will be in the description box below, there's so many different other items on there as well and different bracelets, it's not just all love related. So yeah everything is there and Scorpio, let's see what's coming through. Ooh, changes and transformations are the one. You know why? Because <laughs> April 25th, and I know I'm talking about April and this is a May reading, April 25th, Pluto retrograde. So Pluto went into retrograde and that is about changes and transformations and changes. Scorpio, I keep saying changes, I like said it twice. Anyways, uh, Scorpio is the sign that has such a huge connection to Pluto, right? And when we think of Pluto, we think of Scorpio, it is about these intense transformations, you know, and it's just, it's, it's a big energy. It's a big energy that is going to follow you, uh, but in a good way, in a good way. Also in May, we have the Venus retrograde. You know, currently we're also in Taurus season. Of course, then it will become a Gemini season. Whilst I'm filming this, it's Taurus season. Taurus is ruled by Venus. And then in May, we also have Gemini season. And then also, Venus goes into retrograde. <laughs> Empress is ruled by Venus. And this energy just goes to show how much the planets are literally there for you, right? You've got this strong Scorpio pull. You've got this strong Venus pull. You've got, you've got so much going on up there in the solar system that you're going to feel like, whoa, May is crazy. But I also feel crazy in a not so terrible way. The reason I say that, so long as you don't chase too much in May, especially in a connection that is very hot and cold or imbalanced, things are going to be okay. If you start to really chase someone during a Venus retrograde or during a lot of these retrogrades that are happening, because in May you also have the Jupiter and Saturn retrogrades, you know, these retrogrades will put us in our place and, you know, they're teaching us like, hey, we've got to put ourselves first, you know. So those are big, big messages, especially for you and your soulmate, is if the connection is so hot and cold and very all over the place, do not chase. You know, let them come to you. Let the energies balance out. Try not to be afraid of distance, space and time. Very important energy. It's important to put yourself first. Otherwise, these retrogrades will literally put you first, you know, and tell you to put you first. Put yourself first, should I say. So you are the one, all right? Never, ever forget this. You are the one. Comment that down below. It's a brilliant affirmation. I am the one. I am the one. Whether you are the one for someone else or for yourself, regardless, you are the one. Well, first and foremost, you are the one for yourself, you know, and really hope that gives you lots and lots of just a good burst of energy. Six of pentacles here is about balance, right? If we want balance in our lives, we've got to give it to ourselves. If we want balance with our soulmate, we've got to find that balance within, within us, right? So this energy is so, so powerful just because it shows here that things are balancing out in May. It may not feel like it, but it is. When we put that energy into ourselves first, it is only a catalyst for growth in the actual connection. When we, put, If we want balance, we've got to find it within ourselves first. If we want love, we've got to find it within ourselves first. If we want commitment, we've got to find it within ourselves first. And that is what a lot of these retrogrades are teaching us. If we put ourselves first, we become a magnet for miracles. Think about that. I am the one. You are the one. Magician and King of Pentacles. The more you put yourself on that pedestal, 
the more your soulmate here wants to communicate with you because they can change a shift in your energy for the better. Soulmates can feel each other's energies and it is powerful. It balances out the connections more. It just becomes much more uplifted. That's how I see it. You know, things start to become more uplifted. When you put yourself first, the stars are starting to align. Planets also. That. Talking about the star. There you go. And stars. You know, it starts to align. When you put yourself at focus, others also start to focus on you. It's one of those things. Magician here definitely shows communication because magicians rule by Mercury. And I feel very strongly that, especially because, you know, Mercury is not in retrograde in May, there's really a strong chance here that I feel your soulmate will really want to talk to you and contact you, communicate with you, especially with the King of Pentacles. It shows a shift in your energy and the more your energy shifts, the more I just see a lot of progression in that direction. So the star is a great energy. We've also got the hanged one as well. But a lot of major arcanas. Well, when I say a lot, you've got four major arcanas, but still four out of six. This here shows a spiritual connection, right? It's ruled, of course, this card is ruled by Neptune. So the more you give yourself this spiritual energy and space and time to really reflect for yourself and you take, you know, some good energy to retreat and rest, again, because the two of you have a spiritual connection, it also makes them feel much more rested, makes them feel a lot better. You have to understand also that this connection is very much so based on energy, so they can feel your energy. If you do neglect yourself in energy as well, they will feel that. And, you know, they might think to themselves, hmm, not really sure about that. Nine of Cups here. You know, this is about a wish. I know that you are also wishing that things just really come together. Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me, they will. But it's also about making sure you feel fulfilled within yourself. It's really about the balance, right? If we want things to be balanced, we really have to find that balance within ourselves because ultimately that's what's going to take things into the long term. It's one thing to want a connection to progress and manifest and for it to happen and but it's another thing to keep up with it long term and to have it open up long term as well. Maintaining it is actually the harder part. Right, once you've got it, it's the maintenance that takes a lot of time. So that's why, again, you know, finding that balance within yourself, finding that love, finding that peace, finding that strength, putting yourself first is so important. Because once the two of you really do come together, maintaining it is the consistency that has to... Oops, sorry, I'm so sorry, these cards are so loud. My microphone picks up the cards a lot more than my voice, even though... To me at least they, they sound similar <laughs> right now in terms of you know the cards are not actually as loud but then on camera they come up a lot louder um, it's just the way this microphone is I do apologize I did actually order a microphone um, just before everything started to really kick off in the world and you know things were happening and it didn't even work um, so I have to just go back and search again so we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. The more you put yourself forward and you put yourself first, the more I see here progression and positive change. You know, as my stomach is also rumbling, I do apologise. But the Ace of Swords here really shows that you are the one. Put yourself first and you will start to see some serious results in terms of this soulmate connection, right? Put yourself first and you will start to see potential and progress. You will start to see all of these communications and these ones start to build up you will start to see this from your soulmate they will start to put more emphasis on you if you put emphasis on yourself it is truly one of those things and look at this knight of swords i see them wanting to communicate with you especially if the two of you have no contact or communication i see that opening up here with the ace of swords this is about receiving some form of victory but remember this is your time to put yourself first i am the one say that say that say that so yes, yeah, Scorpio, this is your reading. If this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Do check out the description box below, like I mentioned. 
and you know for all the bracelets and free reading giveaway private paid readings and do take care as well